Hi viewers, today I am going to discuss about recent border dispute between India and Nepal. As close neighbors, India and Nepal share a unique relationship of friendship and cooperation characterized by open borders and deep-rooted people-to-people contacts of kinship and culture. Since time immemorial, Nepal and India have been bound together through historical, religious, social, cultural, economic, and political relations. When a devastating 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck Nepal on April 25, 2015, the government of India immediately launched Operation Moitri. India's assistance, which reached Nepal within six hours of the earthquake, the total Indian relief assistance to Nepal amounted to approximate 67 million US dollars. But Nepal's present Communist Party government has an inclination towards China. That's why, from few years the relation between India and Nepal has not been the same as it was before. On May 20, 2020, Nepal has published its new political map in which it has included disputed territories of Limpi Yadhura, Lipulak, and Kalapani within its borders which is controlled by India. India is very upset with it and immediately reacted that India will not accept such artificial enlargement of territorial claims, and urged the Nepalese leadership to create a positive atmosphere for diplomatic dialogue to resolve the outstanding boundary issues. Well, we will discuss it from different angles. First one is China influence as we everyone doubt. Since Prime Minister Oli took over in 2015, Kathmandu-Beijing relation has further strengthened as China made heavy investments in infrastructure development in Nepal. As against India, Nepal has joined China's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative. Strategists believe that Beijing tried to divert Washington's attention from its own careless handling of COVID-19 issue to this dispute and maybe China is giving pressure to needle India. But if we overlook this crisis only by blaming China it will be wrong. The two counties share a 1,800 km long border. There was a treaty in 1816 named Shugali Treaty between British India and the state of Nepal. The treaty declared the Kali River of Nepal as the western border for Nepal. The treaty was expected to resolve the border issues, but it did not. Nepal believed that Limpia Dhora is the origin of Kali River. If it is so then Kalapani falls inside Nepal but according to India the origin of Kali River is eastern part of Kalapani region as you can see in the map I have pointed. That's where the dispute happens. That Kalapani region is being controlled by India since decades, then there may be question arises in our mind, why such sudden dispute? It all started with when India released its own new political map with Jammu and Kashmir as Union territory. In this map India included Kalapani within India. It became worse when India inaugurated the road connectivity to the line of actual control with China to ensure smooth ride of pilgrims to Kailash Mansaravar, completed the 80 km stretch connecting Lipulek on May 8. Nepal objected the road inauguration and tensions between New Delhi and Kathmandu have escalated. India has said the road lies completely within the territory of India and it follows the pre-existing route used by the pilgrims of the Kailash Mansaravar Yatra. In this perspective we can ignore China's influence as China will also be benefited by increased tourism to Kailash Mansaravar which lies in Tibetan part of China. I think India as a country and its people have an immense amount of goodwill for Nepal. India under a right-wing regime has been high on rhetoric and low on performance. India is increasingly worried about China's rising influence in Nepal but, self-introspection of foreign policy is what is required at this stage. Talk, talk and talk. 
there is no better solution than to talk to each other while trying to find a solution. Keep following this channel until next video. Thank you.